So tell us a little bit about what you, you know, what got you into fitness? Tell us about little, little Lewis, like what was he up to? And we'll start with the origin story. So as a kid, um, soccer and sports was always a huge part of my life. Um, Mm -hmm. I think as a kid, I played every single sport possible, like even against my father's own will, my father being Brazilian, Mm -hmm. just one sport, soccer, 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 but um, Mm -hmm. I I wanted to play every sport. I, I, I just loved being outside, mm-hmm. being in the field. Um, and as I grew older, obviously, soccer really took uh, took the bigger role in my life. Um, but where, where a few years ago, I figured out where it really came from. Uh, my dad was huge on my training. Um, we, he, this man pushed me to no, other levels that I couldn't even explain to you. I was a nine-year-old kid running 10 kilometers in a park and Mm -hmm. then like I got to high school and I had a coach uh cross country coach actually who I was the smallest kid in high school and even on the soccer team I remember I got cut on my junior soccer team here in in Toronto Mm -hmm. and uh grade nine it was it was rough I was a small kid and this cross country coach brought me onto the team and this man pushed me my first year I was like the bench. I ended up making the senior soccer team, but mm-hmm. I was the bench. I was still the smallest one. Mm-hmm. Country, I was like one of the sub runners. Track, I didn't really do much. But that year, the man pushed me. He pushed me so much that the next three years, I trained so hard. I I, I, I would bike to school. It was a five-kilometer bike to school and back. And I would still train and play and do everything just to make sure that I would never, ever, ever lose again in anything. And the way my dad and my coaches from high school on pushed me um, over the years. And, you know, I I ended up going to Brazil. I played in Brazil. Uh, After a number of injuries, I realized that I, me being the small, fragile kind of body figure that I was, I needed to work out Mm -hmm. uh, if I wanted to have any kind of career in that sport that I loved and in, in that passion that I had. So I had, I think I, I've had, I've been blessed to have phenomenal trainers my entire career um, mm-hmm. from the guys I had in Brazil who really put me into shape um, to my last trainer that I had in Miami to Az Roberts here in Toronto, like some of the best of the best. These guys really, really put me in shape and that all transformed. Um, when I had come back from Brazil, uh, I had actually, I, I was kind of like in between, like I didn't know what I wanted to do. And then I ended up falling into personal training. Mm-hmm. I was good at it. I loved the gym. I loved working out. I loved being, you know, active. And then kind of one thing went to another at uh, York University, did Kin. Mm-hmm. And then from there, went back to Miami to play again. Um, just so happened I ended up down there playing and then, masters of sports management and one thing led to another and then my entire passion and my entire love kind of just stems from that like it was it was kind of always put into me that if you're going to do something do it right and um, if you're going to if you're going to compete compete to be the best mm-hmm. and I think that competitiveness has always kind of driven that like fire in the fitness um in the fitness world for me Thank you.